everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm very much aware I'm looking a little, um, well, blue. <laughs> and like I'm from the 80s or something, basically what had happened was I tried a overnight TikTok heatless hair styling thing where they put the dressing gown tie in the hair and then wrap the hair around it and this is what happened and it's just very curly and well my hair is naturally around this curly i think i just curled it too much around the tie but now i've just got this and if i do anything to it it just frizzes so <laughs> it's a bit of a mess but i'm trying to use less heat on my hair so i'm just gonna leave it like this i hope you don't mind <laughs> Today I'm doing this eye look right here. This was kind of a request by one of you guys, Claire. I hope you like it. I know you wanted blue, red, and white, and I, I kind of brought it all to you. But I also did not want to just look like I I'm just celebrating America, the land I call my home. I know that's not your national anthem, but whenever I think of America, I think of the Genovia national anthem and I don't quite know why. If you know where Genovia is, we could be friends. <laughs> anyway, it's like a soft blue smoky eye with a cutout liner that's red with a white line and uh, yeah, some big ass lashes and a little bit of glitter. Just had to play around. If you don't like the blue, Go ahead, put a new lipstick on with this. I completely understand why. <laughs> but I just wanted to switch it up, give you something a little bit different, a little bit more bold. Use the lipstick that I have not worn, like, at all. <laughs> you would think as well, because this is a blue lipstick, it would make my teeth look white. It really doesn't. It does the complete opposite, which I'm not really here for. But, um, oh well. <laughs> I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, and also, I picked up the James Charles X Morphe palette and I wanted to try this out so this is my first time properly using it. I'll tell you my thoughts about it at the end of the video. By the way, I'm sorry I missed Monday's upload. I just had a bit of a rough time over the past few days and I just didn't finish editing some of my videos but I do have quite a few coming. I've already got some pre-filmed. We'll be back to normal scheduling this week. Still getting two videos this week but this month is actually my birthday month so not that I'm gonna chill with the amount of videos I'm doing. I'm just gonna relax a little bit more. You know, it's my birthday month, a girl can relax, especially when in quarantine. <laughs> Again, we'll probably still upload three times a week, but I want to be more chill on myself because I stress myself out sometimes. <laughs> I hope you understand. Anyway, maybe I should stop being awkward and stop chatting your ear off. <laughs> if you're new, please don't be put off by my awkwardness, I swear, sometimes I'm chill. I mean, I think I'm just a bit insecure because of these bold ass lips that I got on right now. Um, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, a little bit out of my lane, you know, we swerve it. Um, I've been watching too much That's So Raven, okay? Ever since I got Disney Plus, I've been watching that back to back. It's my fave, it's my fave, oh my god. Yeah, the sass that I had as a child has started to come back because that was my show. That was my jam. And it still is, and I keep reliving my childhood through that show. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> if you're new, don't hesitate to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below just to be notified of when I upload next. And we're gonna get right on into this eye look right here. So this is the look that we're doing today. So let's get started with this look. I've been playing around with this by P. Louise and Mama Mitchell. It's their Acid Rain Base in Blank Canvas. This is actually pretty good. If you don't like the original P. Louise base because it's a little bit wet, it actually dries down quite matte. So if you prefer a matte base or want to try P. Louise, then maybe try this and see if you like it. But first of all, I'm just going to put this all over the lid. All right, so we're all primed and ready. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Cola and I'm going to pack it on the outer third of the eye and bring it just up and over my crease and pretty much right into the inner corner. By the way, please try and ignore my face demons that I've got at the moment. I picked up them so it makes them look worse, but they're very much large and in charge right now. But please try to ignore them. <laughs> I'm just placing down the color, so I'm using more of a stippling motion than a windscreen wiper motion, just to get the color actually down on the lid and it gets you the best pigment then. And then with the excess, I start bringing it throughout the crease. Now I've only got the slightest amount of product on my brush, I'm gonna use a little circular motions right at the edges just to start our blend and continue with the same shape. I know people rave about this palette, but it's not the easiest thing to blend. <laughs> I'm 
just going in with a little bit more of the colour and just intensifying the original shape we made, making sure to keep those circular motions to continue the blend. Okay, so now I'm going in with the shade called Playground and I'm going to go right over those edges, 50% on the colour and then 50% on the lid so we get a nice gradient and I'm just using tiny little circular motions to do this. To make sure I'm using a light hand, I'm holding the brush right at the end as well so we get a nice soft blended look. Now that cola shade really is a really beautiful shade. Next to this playground shade, it looks more purple, but I like that. Now that colour's down, I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. All right, and now I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna take the shade Spooky and I'm gonna go in quite lightly and build up the pigment. I don't really wanna add a full on black to the outer corner. I'm just deepening up that navy shade we already have down. Before I add the black, I'm just gonna bring the navy color onto the lid a little bit more. I would say that's just under halfway, you know, just over a quarter, not quite halfway across the lid. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to base the colour Spooky right in the outer third and we're just going to start deepening the outer corner. And then with any excess on my brush, I'm just slowly bringing it through the crease. I don't really want to place a lot of black there, but I want to continue the depth. And I'm just using tiny little windscreen wiper motions to do this. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the brush I used for the blue and just make sure that the edges are all blended. Okay, so I'm quite liking the way that looks right now. Now we're gonna move on to the shimmers. So the first shimmer we're going in with is this one called Hello. And this is a really soft look on the top of the lid. So I didn't cut the crease or anything like that. You can if you want to, but I just wanted it to be a very soft look that kind of merges into one in a way. <laughs> So I just placed it down on the inner third, merging up to the half of the eyelid. We wanna leave a little slither right in the center, free just for another color. So I'm just gonna place this down. And again, cause I want it to be soft, I'm going in with that original brush we used for the blue and just softening the edges. Now I'm taking the shade Acapella and I'm gonna go smack bang in the middle and then I'm going to merge it into the matte blue and the hello shade to make a really nice gradient on the lid. I'm actually using the same brush for both shimmers, just using one side for the other. This helps if you're trying to make a gradient like this because you can just flip back and forth to try and like merge the colors together on your lid. That's just what I like to do, it makes blending a little bit easier. <laughs> And then once again, going in with my original brush that we used for the blue mat and just blend in that edge. These brushes by Morphe and Jeffree Star, they've become some of my favorite brushes. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's the JS12. I think it's like the sport mode blender or something. It's so good. Especially if you have like small hooded eyes, it works really well. Okay, next step. I'm going to be actually using my Vaseline trick. So I'm taking a bit of Vaseline on an angled brush this time, just so I have more control of where it's going and I can map out a shape. So pretty much what I did is I carved out a wing liner shape that stops at the end of my eye. So I'm not extending it, I stop it just where the deepest part of my eyeshadow starts. And I first of all did this with Vaseline. So that's what I'm gonna do, which is a shame because in itself this look is really pretty. <laughs> And I'm making it on the thicker side to make sure that we can really see that color because I am doing like a dual liner kind of look. And then I just go in with a Q-tip, roll it across the lid and get rid of the Vaseline that's on there. When you put the Vaseline on, you can kind of already see the product underneath freaking up. It's just a really easy way to remove product. So make sure you look at both eyes so you can see kind of that you're at the same place, you know? Okay, so now is the time to do the white line because if you make any mistakes, you can go back in and erase them and all of that. So you can use a white eyeliner. I haven't personally found one that works for me and like doesn't crack, but I know NYX has one. You can even use an eye base, like the P. Louise base that's in white and then set it with a white eyeshadow. But for me, the easiest thing for me to use is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Drug Lord. Just because it sets down to a matte, it's eye safe and I felt like using it. So <laughs> that is what I'm going to be using for my white line today. I'm taking a tiny little angle brush. This was actually from the browsing set. It came with this tiny little angle brush and it is so good for detailed work like this because it is literally so thin, like you can barely see it. 
it's so thin so it's perfect for stuff like this I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush making sure to dab off all of the excess to make sure we've got the thinnest point on the end and I'm just gonna outline the top of our liner not really caring if I get any below because I can just clean that up make sure that you keep looking back at both eyes to see if you have them almost even they don't have to be perfect I mean is anybody's wing liner ever perfect if they are please let me know and tell them to teach me because I need to learn <laughs> but yeah I'm just making sure to take a step back have a look where am I at and usually this doesn't take me too long but just take your time you know then once I'm happy with that I'm doing exactly the same thing with the Vaseline to the white line to sharpen it up and also create the shape again that we want now this is done on the lid almost I know it looks a little bit janky don't worry it'll all look all right in the end I'm now gonna take the shade you're kidding and we're gonna go directly underneath the white line and just fill in the blank area that we've got in this time as well as where you can kind of sharpen up your liner it helps get rid of any mistakes you know <laughs> but you can make the line thinner or keep it thicker whatever you want to do now I've got that shade down I'm going back into the shade spooky but with the slightest amount on the tip of the brush I'm using the same brush I used for the actual liner in itself and I'm just gonna start patting where the blue meets the red and we're just gonna make a slight gradient so it all mixes together Alright, once that looks a little something like that, I'm going to go in with the brush that I originally used for the black and I'm just going to blend that a little bit more. I haven't added any more product, this is just excess again. And now I'm going to add a very, very tiny black line to my lash line just to cover up the lash band when I add it on. I'm going in with the Max Factor Master Precise eyeliner in the shade Velvet Black. I've been really liking this lately. I didn't think I would because I usually prefer a brush tip applicator. A way that helps me get a really thin line by the way is if I just push the felt tip onto my lashes and just let my felt tip kind of fall onto my lashes it kind of guides it right towards the base. Obviously I'm using a felt tip maybe if you have like a liquid liner it's not gonna work as well because you're gonna clump up all your lashes but I just kind of use the lashes as like an anchor to really help me get close to the lash line. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some mascara. Apply some lashes. These are Grace by Prima Lashes. All right so now the lashes are on. I'm gonna go do my base and everything and then we'll finish up the rest of the eyelet. But yeah I'll be right back. All right, let's finish up this little lash line. So first of all, I'm going in with this Maybelline pencil. It's in 520 and it's just like a bluey, tealy kind of shade. It's similar to the outer blend in shade we had. So I think it mixes in really well. Then I'm taking the shade Color again and just putting that right up to the lower lash line and bringing it three quarters of the way in across the eye. Now I'm taking the shade Playground and we're gonna blend out the color shade. And then I'm gonna blend it into the shadow on the upper lid. Then I'm just gonna add some lower lash mascara. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use the color Flashback to brighten up the area. And then I'm just gonna go in with my face highlight, which I've used the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder in the shade Mood Glow. Turn that on the inner corner and the inner third of the eye. It'd probably be better for you to use more of like a silvery color highlight, but I'm just using this one for today. <laughs> just for a little touch of sparkle, I'm gonna go in with the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Cosmic Stars. I'm just gonna put a touch down here, because why not, you know? If you wanted to, you could even put this on the white line if you wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. But I'm just gonna leave that there, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna choose what lipstick to do, and yeah that's the finished eye look all right so this is the finished look i decided to go just all out with the blue i mean <laughs> when am i ever gonna really wear this makeup maybe not out to the shops or anything but in my room yes <laughs> i've been wanting to wear this lipstick for ages it's matte royale by mac yeah i thought i'd throw it on today because my eyes are blue so why not make my whole face blue i don't know <laughs> quick review on the gym's charles palette it's all right like I'm probably gonna get a lot of use of it for doing like more creative looks I can't deny that but it's nothing to like rave about in my opinion What I do like is the red is a true red and it doesn't really pull orange or pink pretty much the only kind of like full red I've ever seen which is great But yeah apart from that the mattes were like a little kick up -y and the pigment was decent. Blendability could be worked on, but um, apart from that, I got a nice look out of it and the shimmers were pretty nice, so I can't complain, but um, the hype was a little, a little up there. <laughs> You know but it's a good palette i'm just saying it was it's a bit um excessively hyped let's just say <laughs> i 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the makeup look, Claire. I hope you liked this one um, <laughs> and helped you out with whatever thing you have to do with your work. But yeah, this is uh, a little bit different for me. I don't typically do blue eyeshadow and I hope that I made it look not so much like America is just all my lid. I made it like a little bit different. I hope. I don't know. That's what I was going for. <laughs> If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of makeup or it's a little bit more dramatic, then please leave a thumbs up as well. Because if you want more stuff like this, I definitely can do. I do enjoy playing around with more color and more styles of makeup. So definitely let me know. If you're new, please subscribe. All you have to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. And yeah, this is probably not gonna be that long of a video. So I hope the rest of your day is great. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. Ooh. What am I trying to say? I don't know. <laughs>